Hey Real Life family, I'm so glad you guys have joined us today. Uh, we are excited to uh, be talking about the latest uh, sermon series that uh, we are walking through, uh, Asking for a Friend. So uh, I'm here with Phil Thomas, our interim pastor, and uh, just want to talk a little bit about uh, the series and, and what it's about and some of the different questions. Because yeah. you know, a lot of us, uh, when we use that phrase, asking for a friend, uh, it's really because uh, you know maybe we're a little embarrassed or maybe we're a little fearful about mm -hmm. uh, a question or what somebody might think if we ask that question. Uh, so we either don't ask it uh, or we'll say, well, I'm just asking for a friend. And uh, so we thought we would uh, take that and uh, say, well, what are some of the, the questions that people have about faith, uh, about Christianity, about mm -hmm. God, and uh, see if we could uh, answer uh, some of those questions because I'm a firm believer there's no such thing as a dumb question mm -hmm. uh, that's how you learn is by right. asking questions and so uh, Phil uh, won't you tell us a little bit about kind of how this series kind of came to be okay. and and uh, kind of where we've been and then what, where we're going with it right well several years ago I did a Bible reading plan through the Uversion mm -hmm. app and it was based on seven Hebrew words that every believer should know mm -hmm. And some of those were uh, spirit, um, love, uh, my faith, uh, the Bible. And so like this last week we did, you know, one of the questions we get, especially as believers, when we come to faith, we think we should learn everything about the Bible all at mm -hmm. once. And we know that's impossible. Mm -hmm. So faith is a growing process. And so we can't know everything about the Bible. But one of the main questions we get, especially as a, a question as everything you wanted to know but you were afraid to ask or I'm asking for a friend is, is the Bible really relevant to my life? Does it apply to me? So that's what we looked at this past week. Yeah. So. Well, good deal. well, that's a, you know, always a, like I say, a question people have, particularly when they're new to the faith is that they know they, that they need to learn more stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, one of the things I think we have to help people realize it's a lifelong journey of learning. Exactly. Uh, you don't have to know everything about the Bible this week or next week or probably ever. Right. Uh, you know, I've been a Christian for uh, almost 40 years now, a long time. Uh, and there is still so much that, that I am learning that I still need to learn that I don't right. know, that I don't understand yet. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've learned a lot about God over the years, uh, but the more I learn, the more I, I realize, boy, that, that mind is pretty deep. You can dig forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever and still see right. uh, or find the treasures of God just as you're kind of going through life. And so uh, we are lifelong learners, and, and exactly. that's a good thing. So uh, well, what do we have coming up the next couple of weeks? So this Sunday we will look at the breath of God. What is the breath of God? And the fact that God gives life to everything is what that to know. It's not going to be exhaustive, and you're not going to know every single thing about the breath of God when Sunday's over. But you'll have a good idea of what it means when the Bible says the breath of God and how He gave life to everything. And then in the next few weeks, we'll talk about the Trinity. Uh, Clint will be um, hosting that one. Uh, we'll talk about, is God in my chaos? Where is God when bad things happen? Uh, why does God seem to disappear? We'll look at that. And um, what, is it, what does it mean when God says we're to love our neighbor as ourself. So we'll look at some of those key things. And like we said, it's not going to, there won't be a test and it won't be, uh, hey, I know everything about the Bible now when this series is over. It's not like that. But it should answer a lot of questions that people have. Good deal. Yeah, Phil and I were, were joking. He's going to be out of town mm -hmm. one weekend. And mm -hmm. so uh, uh, the Trinity it just happened to be the weekend that it was going <laughs> to fall in. That it, Here, you can have that one though. No, not really. He gave me my choice of different topics to, to do, uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to sharing with you guys on that day just uh, what some of the things God has taught me you know, over the years about who He is and, and what He is like. And uh, like I said, we won't uh, answer everybody's question in, in that one sermon, but I uh, uh, do feel like uh, hopefully we can give you a good idea of a little more understanding right. of who God is than, than what you came in with. And so... Anytime we can do that, if you can leave with a, a little better grasp about faith or about who God is, then, uh, then it's been a good day. So, so that's what we're shooting for in this series. Right. So, uh, anything else you want to tell them about the series? Well, we just hope that you leave 
with more clarity and you leave less confused. That will be our goal. <laughs> <laughs> That's our goal, for you <laughs> not to be more right. confused than right. when you came in. Than when you so. came in. Uh, that's a good goal. All right. Thank you, guys, and we will see you this weekend.